morning, party people. Don't panic. We're back with another reaction. Yeah, all right. Is that all right? Yep. Tiny cup, big man. You decide. Um, wait, wait. Actually, you've got to not be in the shot, otherwise they can tell it's a tiny cup. Oh, yeah. Or we're both huge. Yeah, we're giants. <sighs> hey, today we are checking out the brand new track from Panic at the Disco. I freaking love me some Panic at the Disco. Yeah, look, I, I'm going to admit that like they're not one of my most listened to bands anymore, but the first album that they dropped is just absolute iconic. This is a hot mess. What's going on? How many really of a tiny poppy? I'm going to talk about Panic for a Disc for the day. <laughs> See you guys later. Thanks for being here. We suck. Panic at the Disco, you talk about them <sighs> while I sort out my coffee cup. Yeah, so, yeah, while well, Nathan learns how to drink a coffee. Um, Half past time. Yeah, that first album they dropped, absolutely iconic. Always a band that I'll check out anything they do because um, Brandon is just... An he has a voice that is <sighs> incomparable and the irony is everyone compared him to Patrick Stump to start with. Oh, he's way better than Patrick. He's so much more talented. He's probably the best male vocalist Did you? Out there, I reckon... I don't know the answer to this. Did you watch the Taylor Swift thing on uh, Netflix? No, I did not. So on that documentary, <laughs> so weird. Uh, on the Taylor Swift documentary on Netflix, she was talking about like songwriting process. And, you know, she did a song with him. Mm -hmm. Was it called Me? Anyway, um, she talked about she'd be like, he's one of the most professional people I've ever met. He came with a crazy head cold, and they were like, if you can't do it, he's like, oh look, I'll just do one or two takes. And he just gets in, and she explains what he wants, and he just. Boom! And just knocked it out of the park instantly. She was just like, I've never worked with someone like that before. He's also one of the most lowbrow humans that you'll ever hear talk. If you've heard his uh, podcast's uh, appearance on Your Mum's House with Tom Segura and Christina Pachitsky, he loves a bit of dirty humour. He loves a dirty So that's why you so. like him. You don't care about his music. <laughs> he's got a also, point. he absolutely smashed the Frozen song. Oh, that was phenomenal. Dude, yeah, I think you and I text each other on a camera yeah. and be like, You'll hear this? I'm not frozen now. <laughs> anyway, we've rambled way too long. We're going to get into this one. This is Viva Los Vengeance off the upcoming album, which will be coming out August 19th. That's exciting. Like, subscribe to all that. But you know why I really love him, right? Because he's very handsome. Because he's a huge Every Time I Die fan. He even has the Every Time I Die album artwork tattooed on his arm. Yeah. So, yeah. You're a winner in my book. You're a winner. You're all winners. Hey, thanks for being here. Like and subscribe. If you want to check out the merchandise, I'm rocking some. Johnny's a bad friend. Holding Absence are a good band. They are a good band. That's three, two, one. I'm so interested to see what this sounds like. Here tonight, they're going to perform the titular song of their incredible new album. Please welcome Panic. Titular. The disco. I love that word. Oh, great jacket. Mmm. Oh, come on. I will take it back a second here. Uh, upbeat, fun and catchy. This reminds me of what I hoped the second album would be. You know the one when they came back after A Fever You Can't Sweat Out and they're like, it's very Beatles inspired, it's very sort of 50s, 60s. Yeah, but it was it was super eclectic. This would have been the perfect bridge to that. 100%. Yeah, it yeah. It gives me kind of like, it does give me like sort of beatles -y vibes. Um, I don't know, This the whole thing gives me... Kind of like a Harry Styles vibe, but a bit more rock and roll. Yeah, I see that. Fully. Uh, and I love hearing him do something, again, that's a little bit more band-orientated. Yes, um, I agree. Uh, having said that, did you listen to much of the last few albums? Yeah, I've checked them all out, Like, and I do like them for what they are. I was going to say, because there was a moment where I kind of stepped away from that, and it's for me, it went back to that being... Obviously, he's still very much front and centre as the... Yeah. He is Panic at the Disco. Oh, yeah. But there is a lot more of a musicality element to it. I'm going to take my turn <laughs> to 15 mark. Johnny's coughed. Let's go. I 
I just put my finger on who it really reminds me of. Head Automatica. Yeah. I can release it, yeah, that Dar- or the Darabalum Palumba. Yeah, Palumba yeah, well. fully. Yeah. Head Automatica was the side project of Glassjaw from and Dara Palumbo, for those of you playing at home. Hmm. Also one of the members of the movie life were in it as well. Go and check him out. Very, very fun, very, very catchy. The drumming as well is very head automatic Yeah. head automatic It doesn't say anything. Reminds me of the year. Just he's <laughs> all quick dance I'll, moves. I'll pay more attention. That melody reminds me of something as well. <laughs> Why did that escalate? Indulging in a little panic. <laughs> now shut up and go to bed. <laughs> See you tomorrow night. I like that. Absolutely, Johnny. Yeah, it's fucking 100% me. Um... Uh oh. Uh oh. So, I wonder if that's going to be like a little setup for a sequel type thing. The riff, I've worked out what it reminds me of. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That NGWK. NGWK. yeah. If you've never heard that NGWK song, it's great. But anyway, it's okay. I really liked that a lot. That was probably my favourite Panic thing that I've heard in many, many years. Except yeah, right. for the, the solo song that he released that was very heavy. Yeah. That was cool. I, I don't know if I'd say my favourite he's released recently, but it's everything I hoped it would be. Cool. I think... The cool thing with Panic is that they've become a band that are just doing what they want to do. They're not trying to fit into a box, they're not trying to pigeonhole themselves, they're just making the music that they want to make, and it's really fun and theatrical, and still rock and roll, but not trying yeah. to fit into air any like archetype. The, I, I like that. I like that, you know, it, it's a more stripped back rock and roll sort of thing. Um, the vocals are the showcase, of course. Mm. It's just unbelievable, but it's... It's just accompanied by some really cool, fun, simple, catchy music. Um, very band driven, not too much sort of, you know, like electronic elements or, you know, overproduction or anything like that. Very cool. And I honestly think that his voice shines even a little bit better in that setting because it does become the focal point. Like, um, and yeah, I just, I just really liked it. I, oh, I loved the video as well. It was... I was going to say, the f- video... Very well done. ...was so well done. I love the way it was shot to look of the era. It had yeah. that sort of like yeah. older sound, 60s, 70s sound, and it made it look like that. Because obviously, other film clips have done is such high def, really clear, that had that slight graininess, slight grittiness of TV mm. in that era. Very like 
glitzy, glamoury, but it doesn't quite come through, and I love Bring that. Bring in the Verizon Drown. Yeah, that yeah. exact error, yeah, yeah, fully. So, what did you guys think of that? Do you like Panic at the Disco? Are you excited for this? I'm pumped on that. I'm really excited for an upcoming album. This is a tale about growing up in Las Vegas. It's about love, fame, burnout, and everything that happens in between. Yeah, I've heard all that shit happens in Vegas. Hey, what happens in Vegas is on this album. Okay. And it stays in Vegas on yeah. this album. Nowhere else. We'll see you guys next time. We'll see ya. I don't know where you're going with that. Like, you know, when they say, like, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas?